It's almost Halloween, so today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna do our version of trick or treating. Along with a full day of eating, right, right after, after this. this. What's up, family? I'm Batgirl. And I'm Batman. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. I wish this thing had like noise when I did this. You wish that that hat was more annoying? Yeah, because then like every time I raise my ears, it would like squeak like a bat squeak. You just need my shirt <laughs> to go with it and then it's complete. <laughs> Well, today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to go to the store and do our version of trick-or-treating. Yeah, because there's a lot of treats that you're trying to get when you're shopping, yeah. but there's some tricksters out there we want to help you avoid. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to some different stores like Walmart and Aldi's and maybe a couple of other ones, and we're going to find different products that are trying to trick you into buying them based on the front label. Yeah, and then when you look in the nutritional label, you see a whole new world open up. Right, and then we'll also find some alternatives to those unhealthy products and find better ones that we can eat. So I've got my bucket ready. Yep, and I have my bucket. So let's head out. Okay, first stop is Aldi's. We're gonna go in, we're gonna try to film. Hopefully we don't get kicked out of the store. Trick or treat. So here's the thing about Aldi's. They charge you a quarter to get your buggy, making you bring your cart back. But down here in South Florida, nobody brings their carts back. They just leave them out in the street. Okay, we're one step in the door and take a look at this. Cashew halves and pieces with sea salt. And it's 160 calories for a serving, but take a look at the ingredients. Cashews, peanut oil, and or cottonseed oil, and or sunflower seed oil, and or canola oil, and sea salt. And it's $4.69. Now this is only cashews, but cashews are higher in carbs. Look at it, nine total carbs, only one gram of fiber. The better option would be this one here. This is more of the treat version. Raw cashews, walnuts, and macadamia nuts. It's eight ounces, it's $4.99, but look at the ingredients. Cashews, walnuts, and macadamia nuts. We don't have anything added. And here, it's okay to have some cashews because there's cashews with walnuts and macadamia nuts. You're not only eating cashews. Here's another product that a lot of us eat on keto, which for the most part, you know, seaweed snacks are not bad, but take a look at this one here in Aldi's. Look at the ingredients. It's seaweed, then it's non-GMO corn oil, non-GMO expeller pressed sesame oil, non-GMO expeller pressed uh, per perella oil, big salts, like all of those extra oils in there, that's gonna lead to some inflammation when you're trying to eat something healthy like a seaweed snack. Okay, so here is the trick. Sims Snack Sticks Beef Sausage. It looks like on the front it's gonna be awesome. Less than one total carb per serving, but look on the back. The ingredients let you know there's sugar and all kinds of garbage in them. So what's the treat? The treat would be the Sims Original Beef Biltong. Just meat and they're using raisin juice as like their sweetener. Okay, here's one I've talked about before. A lot of people are going to pick up this cauliflower crackers. I mean, this is the Simply Nature version. We've seen the ones in Sprouts. But you're gonna pick it up thinking, cauliflower, why not buy it? And then we'll look at the ingredients. Cauliflower flour, whole grain rice flour, cassava flour, potato starch. So, And then look at the carbohydrates. A lot of people aren't gonna look at that. It still has 16 net carbs per serving. Now I will say, if I was going to give an, be given a choice of this versus a potato chip for my kids, I would give them this. But as far as me on keto, absolutely not. Here's another one. Take a look at this. Garlic salsa with tomatoes, garlic, jalapeno, peppers, and onions. And take a look at the nutritional ingredient. It is three carbs per serving. And the ingredients aren't super bad till you get down to the bottom and you see some sugar. The better option, the trade option, would be one of these organic versions. They have a habanero and grass, uh, ancient grains, double fire roasted, and then they also have a chipotle and lime salsa. 
These are actually less carbohydrates at two total carbs and there's nothing bad in the ingredients. So I totally almost just got tricked in a trick or treat video I'm making. So this is 100 calorie salt and pepper cashews. I was like, great, finally something to help me manage how much nuts I eat. But then I looked on the back and look at the ingredients. There's sugar in it. Why is there sugar in a salt and pepper? Okay, here's another one where they're trying to trick you with the label. Natural creamy peanut butter made with 90% peanuts. Take a look at the label. Peanuts, cane sugar, uh, palm oil, salt, molasses. The better option, the treat option, they have this one right here. Organic creamy peanut butter and take a look at the ingredients. Organic peanuts and sea salt. And the best part is, it's only $3.39, so it's not even super expensive. Well, this one isn't so much a trick with the ingredients, it's a trick with the prices. Look at this, $10 for 10 patties. Problem is, this is 80, 20 ground beef, and they're quarter pound patties. That means you're paying $4 a pound, and it's not grass-fed, grass-finished. If you come right up here, you can get this 100% grass-fed ground beef, 85.15 and it's only five dollars and 29 cents a pound on a side note they actually have the meatless ground plant protein and it's only six dollars a pound that does not look very appetizing so this isn't so much of a keto thing because it's still high in carbs but i can see a lot of parents buying this as an alternative to potato chips because veggie straws right but if you look in the ingredients Where's the vegetables? Look at the last three ingredients are spinach powder, beetroot powder, and tomato paste. Look at the main ingredients though. Potato starch and potato flour corn starch. It's basically a bunch of starches. The better option, if you're going to give your kids something and you don't care about the carbs so much, give these vegetable chips. At least when you turn it over, the main ingredients are actually vegetables. Here's another one they're trying to trick you with. So many people on Keto are gonna pick this up. Pumpkin seed and flax granola cereal but take a look at the ingredients. Organic oats is the main ingredients. Then you have sunflower oil, organic brown rice crisp, organic tapioca syrup, organic cane syrup, organic cane sugar. Where is the pumpkin seeds? All the way down at the bottom. Follow it up by brown rice flour. Better option, get yourself some pumpkin seeds, get yourself some flax, and make your own granola cereal. Okay, it wouldn't be Halloween without talking about pumpkin. This is another one of those trick or treat things you gotta look at. Pumpkin pie mix, just add your eggs and your evaporated milk. Make sure you're not grabbing this because you've got pumpkin water, sugar, and salt and spices. You gotta get the treat version and get 100% pure pumpkin and add all of your other ingredients that you need. Cause this just has pumpkin. Well, here is a treat. This is cold brew Colombian coffee. It's definitely a treat because it's only $4.99 a container. And look at the ingredients just water and coffee okay how many people would pick this package of parfu hot dogs up it says uncured beef franks no nitrites or nitrates added it's got four carbs per hot dog but look at the ingredients beef water corn syrup you've got dextrose sodium phosphate then you also have this this was my jam before keto uh, nathan's hot dogs were always my favorite 100 percent you know beef no gluten corn syrup Look at the ingredients. There's a whole list of ingredients. I thought it was 100% beef. I'm even reading in there, you've got corn um, proteins in there. Why is there corn protein in an all beef hot dog? Your better option, the tree. Aldi says this, uncured beef hot dogs. No nitrates or nitrites added. And look at the ingredients. You've got beef, water, and then some spices. So here's a major trickster. This is tilapia, which in itself is a trickster fish. Um, but if you look on the back and the ingredients on this one, there's tilapia and also carbon monoxide to retain its color. What fish could you get in it that doesn't have carbon monoxide? Literally any other one. Okay, trick or treat. How many people would buy this? Raise your hands. Put a little thumbs up down below if you would have bought this. Chamomile, ginger, lemon tea. Vegan, non-GMO, no added sugar, no preservatives, no trans fat, no colors. Would you buy this based on the label? Look at the ingredients. Chamomile, ginger, lemon juice, apple juice, water. So great, no added sugar, but it's got apple juice in it. Where's the apple juice on the front label? Trick or treat. So here's medium cooked shrimp. The Sea Queen brand has uh, shrimp, but also a whole bunch of other preservatives. Whereas the Fremont Fresh Market just has shrimp and salt. Another side note, 
this used to be Rachel's jam. We would get these things and she would just eat them by the container full. We have got to figure out how to duplicate this for keto. So I kind of always felt that the super coffees were a little expensive. Take a look what we found in, and again, this is all these, Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. 42 total carbohydrates and 270 calories in this Dunkin' Donuts thing. And they're $2.28 a piece. Okay, so we're done in Aldi's. We actually found a lot of things and there were a lot more, but it was getting super crowded. Super busy. One thing I would say is like, I haven't been in Aldi's for a while because we haven't had to do a lot of grocery shopping. No. And in the last couple weeks, they have upped their game with keto friendly products. We're gonna have to come do a complete Aldi's haul. Yeah, because as much as there are some tricksters in there to be aware of, there's a lot of treats. Yeah, so a couple of just new, neat things that we picked up ourselves. Uh, we found this goat cheese as we're waiting for this lady that looks like she's over 100 to drive. At least 100. So I'll let you kind of just take a look at that real quick. I mean, but that looked really interesting and it was only $3. Yeah, this looks really good. Individual, almost like baby bell cheese, but it's goat cheese. Which is like one of, if not the best cheese that you could be eating on keto. The only thing better would be Parmesan cheese. Yeah, this is gonna be my fun size snack, definitely. Yeah. So this is from Famously Good Celebrity Cheeses. Now they had some flavor ones, you had to be careful with them because they were a little bit higher in carbs. Then we picked these up. We didn't get the cashew ones because we do try to avoid cashews, but these are raw almonds, pecans, and pistachio kernels. And again, pistachio is another little bit higher carb nut, but there's very few of you look in there pistachios in there whereas the cashew one had probably 50% cashews. Yeah and there's no garbage and nothing to make any kind of flavoring stick to the nuts. You've just got almonds, pecans, and pistachio nuts which is awesome. The next thing we found was this halftime pickle with cream cheese, dill, relish, and ranch seasoning game day dip. Now it doesn't have the super cleanest ingredients. I mean it's like it's basically a cream cheese dip but number one, I wanted to try it to maybe try to duplicate it. I yes, thought it was great, please. especially being in the middle of football season and you're coming into holidays, would be a nice dip to have at parties. Absolutely. Uh, but again, something maybe that if you're like going to a party and you want to bring like maybe a dip and some vegetables or something like that, picking that up because not again, not the cleanest ingredients, but it's only got one carb per serving. Yeah, and it's gonna be different because yeah. that's what you're trying to do too when you go to parties is like bring something different that somebody hasn't seen. Well, like halftime pickle dip, that's gonna be different. Yeah. Then we showed it when we were talking about the salsas, but they had three different flavor salsas. Actually four, one of them was pineapple. We didn't get the pineapple one. Right. But these look really good with super clean ingredients. Habanero. And we got, I got three out of the four flavors. This is just the one that I really wanna try the most. I was gonna say, but this might burn my face off. Could be. And then we've got these delicious mozzarella cheese logs here. They're marinated. Their cheese selection is like incredible. It's I mean, it's like Whole Foods. Fancy pants. Yeah. Okay, so real quick, we're gonna run into Walmart, but I'm kind of hungry. This Cape Crusader needs a snack. So we're gonna try this goat cheese. So while we're opening this up, so the there's six of these in this bag. There's 80 calories for each one. Six grams of fat, five grams of protein, one total carbohydrate. Again, all cheese has carbs in it. Um, pasteurized goat's milk, sea salt, potassium sorbate, which is a preservative, bacterial culture, and a microbial uh, enzyme. I'm licking microbial. the wrapper. This would be so awesome for cooking like omelets and stuff. I love goat cheese in my omelet. I love goat cheese. But when you cut it off of that big log, I usually make a huge mess. And this would be just like an individual serving. No, you can't. It's almost like cream cheese. That's why I like goat cheese. You can use it instead of cream cheese. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. And you awesome. can see, it's like spreadable like cream cheese. Yeah. Wow, this is delicious. It's got that tang. Mm -hmm. Goat cheese has a tang to it that's like awesome. If you haven't all these, go try this. So this is not a fish stick. This is their simply baked salmon with roasted garlic and butter. But guess what? That's not all. There's water, canola oil, sea salt, garlic powder, cornstarch. There is butter, but there's also maltodextrin, non-fat milk, 
natural okay. flavors. All kinds of stuff. Wow, talk about a trick or treat. Tyson grilled and ready, their fully cooked chicken breast strips. You would buy this for like convenience, right? 100% all natural chicken with an asterisk over natural. Take a look at the ingredients. That's more than just 100% chicken. There's all kinds of things in there. Okay, here, take a look at this one. You have cauliflower, cauliflower crust pizza. They have a veggie pizza, a margarita pizza, and they have a turkey pepperoni vegetable pizza. So people are gonna buy this thinking, hey, I can eat that. First of all, look at the ingredient label. It's ridiculously long. Then take a look at this nutritional label. A half a pie, 310 calories, 37 total carbohydrates. Then you're gonna pick up this one thinking like meat, right? Only 26 total carbs, but that's for three servings and a pizza. Your better option, the crusts, and then you can make your own. They have a pepperoni, a jalapeno, red pepper, Italian, and plain, and these are only two carbs per serving. I think we're gonna buy these and try them as a review. What do you think? I think that's an awesome idea. So obviously great minds think alike because as I was looking at those cauliflower crust pizzas, Rachel showed up with this one, Green Giant Cauliflower Pizza Crust. Now we already saw this one, which is, there's two pizza crusts in here. It is $10. The ingredients are very clean. Fresh cauliflower, mozzarella, and then um, some spices. And that's the Italian version two carbs per serving and there's three servings in a crust. So that's not bad, right? Third of a pizza. Look at this one. Now let's take a look at the ingredients. Cauliflower, rice flour, cornmeal, cornstarch, canola oil, 16 total carbohydrates for a quarter of a crust. So here's a little pricing trick or treat. On the left are Wisps Parmesan Cheese Crisps. Those are $3.47 a bag because they're in like the fancy cheese section and with like the ready to go subs. But on the right are Parmesan Crisps from Mrs. Cubbinson's. I found those in the salad topper section. They're all completely just cheese and they're $2.62 a bag. You can also find Moon Cheese for just $1.97 a bag. So that's a real treat, a price treat. Okay, take a look at this. Tuna, it's great on keto, right? All of these say albacore tuna in water, in water, in water, right? Let's take a look at the ingredient label. All three of them, white tuna, water, vegetable broth. You've got vegetable broth. You've got vegetable broth. And a lot could be hidden in there. And here's your better option. Wild Planet Albacore Wild Tuna. Ingredients, tuna. <laughs> and then you have some salt. Generally tuna, you know, is only about a dollar, dollar fifty a can, but we always suggest buying this wild con. It's gonna be much healthier. But like the wild planet can be expensive at three dollars and ninety-four cents a can. Take a look at this option that they have here in Walmart. Two dollars and ninety-seven cents or two dollars and forty-seven cents. The ingredients are still really healthy. It's just tuna, water, and salt. And they also have it in the pouches and they even have an Alaskan salmon and it's all wild caught at a really good price at $2.08. So while we're on the subject of sustainably wild caught salmon, take a look at this. Chicken of the sea, sustainably wild caught pink salmon. Let's take a look at the nutritional information. Ingredients, pink salmon, water, vegetable broth, and it contains soy. And then you have salt. Again, wild creations, Alaskan salmon in water. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Pink salmon, water, and sea salt. Now this stuff is $2.18, and this is $2.08. Yes, it's a smaller pouch, but it's much healthier ingredients. So this is the trickster that actually got us started doing product reviews because I was so aggravated that this mayonnaise had tricked me. So here we have Hellman's Avocado Oil Mayonnaise. Um, I was so excited to be getting avocado mayonnaise for my family. However, if you look on the ingredients, there is a blend of oils, avocado, canola, and soybean. So there's the trick. And here is the treat. If you come just a couple bottles down, we have Sir Kensington's, um, we have Better Body Foods, and we have Primal Kitchen. Now, when they say that they are made out of avocado oil, you can see on the ingredients, it's just avocado oil. What a treat. So on keto, a lot of us drink bone broth for the collagen, but not all bone broth is created equally. 
take a look at the Sam's version of bone broth. Look at the ingredients on here. There's sugar in there. Your options here in Walmart, you have the Swanson sipping bone broth. It's got good clean ingredients and they also have the Epic bone broth, which has really good clean ingredients. These are amazing and they have several different flavors. Here is a trick or treat within the same brand. On the left, we have Max salt and pepper fried pork skins. And on the right, we have Max original fried pork skins. The one with salt and pepper in it has maltodextrin. So my advice would be, this is the trick and the treat would be buy these and add your own salt and pepper. Here's another one you have to be careful of, the avocado oil from the Great Value brand at $7.47. But this is not cold pressed or expeller pressed. Right next to it, you have the Chosen Foods brand. And while this is the real deal, because even the ones that you get in Costco aren't cold pressed, this is 100% pure avocado oil, cold pressed, naturally refined, and it's only $15 for 51 ounces. That's actually a great deal. Here we have heavy whipping cream, definitely a staple of the keto diet, but we have some tricksters on the left, both the Great Value brand and the Land O'Lakes brand contain um, carrageenan. It's actually like a thickening, emulsifying, and stabilizing ingredient. Um, it started out as red seaweed, and you can find it in a lot of milk beverages. It's an additive that has been shown to cause like ulcerations and malignancies in the gastrointestinal tract. So definitely something you'd like to avoid. Um, P.S. They actually use it to de-ice planes, if that is any more revolting as an ingredient in your milk. But on the right, we have the treat, the Horizon brand. It's organic, and it does not contain carrageenan. All Blue Diamond almonds are not the same. Usually you would think, okay, well, if I get flavored ones, that's gonna be a problem, but not if I just stick to salted almonds, but you're gonna see there's a big trick or treat going on here. So um, with the oven roasted almonds, you've got almonds, sea salt, and corn maltodextrin. And with the lightly salted almonds, You've got almonds, vegetable oil, canola, and or safflower, and you have sea salt. But if you just buy the whole natural, the only thing in this bag is almonds, and then you can just add your own salt to them. So definitely a trick or treat. Okay, I've never been the biggest fan of using granulated stevia because it's not pure stevia. They have to bind it to something. But let's take a look at these three. You have the Great Value brand, the stevia, Look at the ingredients. You have erythritol, then you have dextrose and maltodextrin, and then you have the stevia, because again, it's gotta be bound to something. I don't know why they're not just binding it to the erythritol. We'll go over to a very popular brand. You have Truvia. Again, take a look at the ingredients. You have erythritol and stevia leaf, so at least it doesn't have the dextrose and maltodextrin, but then they're adding natural flavors. Why do you need natural flavors in there? Then I found this version. Splenda, natural stevia. Look at the ingredients in there. You have your erythritol and you have your stevia. That's all you need. So we found a bunch of things in Walmart that are like kind of trick or treat things. Yeah, and I don't think we even scratched the surface. Yeah, so on a positive note though, we found a couple of things to do a review. We're gonna do a review on that cauliflower crust, make our own pizza. And we also picked up one of the Quest pizzas. So look for that review coming soon. I'm a little nervous. So Rachel now has to go to like an event for church. So I'm gonna see if I can find another store to find some more trick or treat stuff. And then we're gonna get together and we're gonna go out, treat ourselves to Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner. It's date night. It's kind of windy out here, so sorry about the wind. But uh, yeah, while well, Rachel's at her connect group, I need to run into Costco. So let's see if we can find any products that are trying to trick you on the front label. Well, here's one right here. Take a look at this, cauliflower stalks. I feel like a lot of people are gonna buy this just because they see the word cauliflower. But let's take a look at the ingredients. Cassava, sunflower oil, cauliflower, rice, whole grain brown rice, sorghum, sea salt, garlic, salt, parsley, celery seed, vegetable blend, and uh, yeah, 140 calories, 18 total carbohydrates, and only one gram of dietary fiber. Definitely not something that you want to be consuming on keto. Wow, take a look at this great deal. They've got pork tenderloin. It's $1.99 a pound and it's $3 off per packet. So we're gonna find a few packages like this one right here that's only $9 and buy three or four of them. That's gonna make it only $6 for two pork tenderloins. 
this is definitely something that a lot of people are gonna buy, not even taking a look at the ingredient label because you're gonna be like, ribs, I can have that, and it's a dry rub. But take a look at the ingredients, pork ribs, and the very next ingredient is sugar. Well, here's a product that I think a lot of people are gonna buy based on just looking at the front. It's a gourmet tuna salad made with Hellman's mayonnaise. So of course it means it's gonna have bad oil, but aside from the oil, look at that long list of ingredients and what's supposed to be just tuna salad, including right here, it's got breadcrumbs and eight grams of carbohydrates per serving and there's 10 servings in this container. That is not much tuna fish. Okay, it's 6.30 and the only thing that we've had to eat all day is like that cheese from Aldi's and a few nuts. Yes, oh my goodness. So I went to the park for my connect group, played with some kiddos, and now I have really worked up an appetite, yo. So although it's Tuesday, we're gonna join Katie and uh, Jason, Vivid J. Yeah. And we're gonna do buffalo, if we can see up there, buffalo wild wings. And we're gonna get enough buffalo wild wings to take home, and then we're gonna eat them for like the next three days. We're so about to clean them out. The lady is probably gonna look at us weird when we buy like six orders of large wings, or That's six okay. large orders. We always get looked at weird. So we'll show you what we eat because this is the only thing we're eating all day. And then we'll close out the video at the dinner table. We actually told the waitress, like, I'm sorry, we're going to look really crazy, but we're doing a challenge for our YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, we're only gonna eat wings for the rest of the week. So we have to order enough wings to get us through the next four days. So it's kind of like brace yourself for this order. We're gonna sound crazy, but yeah. Yeah, so we ordered six large sets of wings, which is like, I think it's like 20 wings per each order. We're gonna have a party at our table. And now we're only gonna eat like 15 wings a piece, so. I can't make any promises. I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, but we gotta worry about our calories too. Oh yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna have a lot of wings to bring home. So we did warn the waitress ahead of time. We'll show you what we got when it comes. She was super awesome. So how do you know that somebody is keto when they sit down at Buffalo Wild Wings? This is our table, and there's only two of us sitting here. It's like, hi, dinner is served. So let's see what we got. We do have two sauced ones. This is the spicy garlic. I think if you eat the entire tray there, it's like 11 carbs. Then we have the hot. The hot's like nine carbs if you eat the entire thing. Then we've got salt and vinegar. It's one carb for the entire tray there. Then we've got desert heat, one carb. This one is the, which flavor is this? Chipotle barbecue, one carb. And then this is the lemon pepper, one carb for all of them. Obviously, we're not going to eat all of these wings. Well, now I'm disappointed. If you eat an entire tray, it's about 1,400 calories plus the sauce. So I plan on eating an entire tray. So here is my plate, guys. Does that look like a plate of happy or what? I've got to have a little bit of everything. I'm most excited about the salt and vinegar. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna start off with. Rachel says I'm a wimp because I probably won't be able to finish this amount of wings. There's like 11 here. And I probably won't be able to finish this without getting sick, so I'm gonna eat this and I'll probably have to eat some more wings at home. So this is what's left. And believe it or not, this is Rachel's plate. She had 19 wings. She can't finish the last wing. Number 18, I feel like, it, I mean, or 19, is the one that could make me or break me. So like, I can't eat this. This is gonna be the difference between me going home happy and me like barfing in the car. And of course me, I'm a total wimp. I had 10 wings and can't last finish the last one. Okay, we just got done eating in Buffalo Wild Wings. Hopefully the footage that we filmed inside of all of our food can be used. There was music playing in the background, so I'm hoping that like, you know, YouTube actually doesn't kick us out and say like, ah, uh, you can't have this music in there. So yeah. if you don't see any footage, that's why we had to take it out. Sorry. So we're gonna close out everything right here on the car instead of going home and sitting at the table or anything like that. Yeah, and I'm a happy camper <laughs> because I had my whole plate to eat and I knew that there was one chicken wing left that was going to be like the tipping scale. Right. And it was gonna be the difference between going home fat, nasty, full or going home fully satisfied. So I didn't eat that last wing and it was a very good move because I feel good. Oh, I ate like 10 wings 
and I'm ridiculously full. And then we came out of Buffalo Wild Wings, which is directly next door to a Kentucky Fried Chicken slash Taco Bell. Yeah. And the smell of the Kentucky Fried Chicken is just was getting me nauseous that we had to drive further away because we have to have the door open right now to have the light on. It is wild because Kentucky Fried Chicken used to be my treat for myself. I loved Kentucky Fried Chicken like extra crispy chicken and now the smell of it is so gross to me. It's like the bread aisle. Have you gone down the bread, oh, bread aisle? The smell of bread gets me sick now. It makes me really nauseous. So it's, it's interesting like you know what you get used to. So that is the end of today's like interesting vlog about like different products that are trying to trick you with their front labels. What was the uh, biggest takeaway? What was the thing that really shocked you the most today? Well, there's two things. One was how much oil and nonsense is attached to nuts in order for them to just have salt on them. Okay. I mean, just have salt. Some of it comes from the roasting too, which you don't need to roast your nuts in oil. Like there's enough oil in the nuts. So whenever you're buying nuts, make sure you're not getting nuts that have extra oil added into it. And the other thing that totally shocked me was vegetable broth in tuna fish. Yes. I did not know that was a thing. Yes. As somebody who doesn't eat tuna, like I had no idea that tuna in water was actually in vegetable broth. And there is no breakdown of what the vegetable broth is. So I have no idea. What are the vegetables? Right. What What is the liquid? What is there oil? I mean, you just don't know. Yeah. So for me, I mean, nothing to do with like some of the different foods we had, but what really shocked me was those Nathan hot dogs or not the Nathan. Yeah. The Nathan's hot dogs, Did it hurt right? Your feelings a little. Because that used to be my favorite hot dog, those and sabrette. And to find out that there's like corn byproduct in hot dogs that are labeled 100% beef. Yeah. That kind of really shocked me. Yeah. So, well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if there's any other products that you have ever seen that have a label on the front that make you think that it's going to be a good healthy product, but when you looked at the nutrition label, it was completely opposite of what you thought it was. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.